read my viewers' minds. Oh no, he's doing another dump run. But you'd be wrong if that's what you thought. We're not making a dump run today. We are in the vehicle. We're going right down the road, but we're coming right back. I'm making a lottery ticket. Today, today's vlog is going to be entitled, oh, let's see, another toy for Walter. I got a lot of irons in the fire. I'm always trying little doodads, and today's no exception. Stand by for another toy for Walter. As soon as I get my lottery ticket. Leave the camera running and never know something exciting might happen. There sits Paulding County Sheriff's Department up here in the parking lot. Waiting to get him a speeder zipping by. The wife says we are to change the numbers that we play every day on the lottery ticket. Sure as you do that, your number that you... Well, here's another sheriff's car. As soon as you do that, the number that you quit using will come in sure as a world. Be right back. Lady here next to me is in the store buying something I guess. Her car is unlocked. Window's halfway down and her pocketbook is sitting right there. I can't think of a better way to get your vehicle stole. See if the keys are in it. Yeah. Keys are in the cotton picking thing. If you want somebody to steal her car. It's a little black van looking thing on my left. Some people are just cruising for a bruising. You ever heard that expression? What is that neat little camper? I'd like to have that. We go camping tonight. Let's go. I'll get me a case of road rage and be done. Shoved you down the road, fella. I don't know where your mind at. You ever been caught in bumper to bumper traffic out there on I 75 or Interstate 285? Going along about one mile an hour. You get the urge to just ram right into them and push them out of the way. It's called road rage. <laughs> I've had that urge, but I didn't act on it. Let's get to talking about Walter's new toy. All right, we have a collection of bird poop on the porch. I decided it must be an owl, and the only place he could be sitting is right up there. Last night, my alarm went off twice for something out here and I think it's an owl flying around. Now, I've always got different irons in the fire and today is no exception. Quite often at night I've came out and encountered 
coyotes out here walking through the yard, deer, I've seen armadillos, uh, I saw a fox over here one night, all kind of little critters walking around at night. So I got the notion we're going to try to video them. And I went to Walmart today and got me a trail camera. It was like $68 plus an SD card. I wound up paying 88 something for it. It's only 720 resolution. It'll take pictures at night. I don't know a whole lot about it. I'm not going to get many really wild creatures at night in the daytime, but you never know. I might get some squirrels hopping around here driving my camera crazy. But I'm just going to find a place to mount it. I haven't even opened the box yet. Let me hang it on this nail. Now it says... If I owl's over that way, I'm not going to pick him up. It says the sensor range is 60 feet. Now one large step is about 3 feet. A yard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that would be 3 times 10. 30 feet. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. If it'll sense that far away, the only problem is, will it see that far away at night? I know it has a, a limited distance on night vision. Well, just for kicks, I think we'll set it up on the telephone pole. But I got a hunch the animals walk right down this fence line every night. Got a regular trail on that side, but nothing but woods. Makes sense to me the deer and ant animals walk this fence line stand close to the woods. So we'll hang it for that well. If I hang it on the telephone pole and they walk behind it, I won't get them. I can try different things. This thing is camouflaged like bark. If I hung it on that big tree over there, it would be pointing towards the street light. It might see better at night. We'll even try it from that. It's just something else for people to par to be tinkering about. And last night, this alarm, driveway alarm, went off three different times. It got to where I had to get up and turn the darn thing off. Bluebirds are going to be flying in and out of there pretty soon anyway. But I thought we'd try different places. A lot of times deer will be out there around my apple trees in the summertime. If I can accumulate some wildlife footage, I'll sure make a video on YouTube about it. Any trespassers come around, we will video them too. And if it don't work out, I ain't, I ain't out that much money. We'll go set it up in the woods and take some pictures. I could even do that. I go in there and find me a trail and see what kind of critters are walking around in there at night. I might even catch the abominable snowman walking around. Hmm. Another day went by and I didn't do nothing on the deck. Anyway, this is a Cloak 14 Pro Light Sport. Light lights out. Cloak lights out. We'll do a separate video for the Yabo. In the meantime, I'll read you the specs on this camera. Resolution 14 megapixel video 720p Illumination up to 65 feet 36 high intensity invisible infrared LEDs Sensor up to 60 feet uh, Uses up to a 32 gigabyte SD card Resolution 720p 
It's not exactly 1080p, but that would be plenty good enough. Batteries last a year, I don't believe that. It'll take still photos or video, depending on how you have your cameras set up. So as an example of a daytime and a nighttime picture of a deer. Doesn't say from what distance. But I'm told by watching videos on YouTube that that sensor makes a little red flash like the wild wildlife can see. And some people claim it'll scare the animals away, but I really doubt that. And all the other lights around here, street lights and stuff, you ain't gonna pay no attention to a little old infrared light. Maybe it might be different out in the woods though. Anyway, y'all keep your fingers crossed that Walter gets to make some fantastic wildlife footage. We could even put it out there on the bird feeder. And, uh, in fact, we might do some bird videos with it this summer. You know, when I make videos with my bird, a regular video camera, they're definitely better quality. But, uh, you know, you have to have a camera out there running. This thing here will take a picture. When the bird comes, it won't be running all the time. I think I'm going to have fun playing with this. Another toy for Walter. That's why the name of this video is Another Toy for Walter. <laughs>